Wow, secret menu item, Tim Blue Lounge, definitely worth a try. Good morning, everyone. It's another magical day, and today we're at the Polynesian Village Resort to close out a very special two-day staycation. We were at Saratoga, and now we're at Polynesian. Again, huge thank you to my friend Chris. Had those DVC points. They were expiring. They were gone. They were gone forever. And Chris said, Michael, go ahead and use them. Love to see you adventure with us. That really does mean a lot, Chris. Thank you so, so much. Looking forward to a truly magical day here. I started off this morning at the gym at Saratoga. We walked around for a bit. Disney Springs closed early morning doesn't open till 10 I think and now we're here I had a breakfast burrito which was really good like better than I remember at Captain Cook's we're gonna have a great Polynesian day you know I look at the forecast at other areas around the United States and I know that you know Florida is much warmer compared to other places but 52 degrees is the temperature today and uh, there are gonna be many days in the summer I can tell you right now we're gonna say to ourselves I wish we had some of that <laughs> because it, it gets hot. Clearly, I'm not the first person to step on the beach this morning. There was someone else here recently. Now, our room isn't quite ready yet, so it's a perfect opportunity to walk around and see some of the construction updates here at the Polynesian. Some of it's moving along really fast. Walking around early this morning, I've noticed that some of the walkways that we usually know around the Polynesian are closed. But it doesn't mean that the amenities in that direction are closed. It just means that the pathway is. Not sure I can blame anyone for not being in the pool right now. Totally understandable. 52, I think, at the moment, going up to 68 degrees. There's almost no question in my mind that we'll be stopping here before our staycation is done. And wait a minute, do they have a new flavor? Pineapple, lemon, vanilla, and lime. Now you can see they put them all here so you can uh, try different ones depending on the day. Sometimes they have raspberry, so. The check-in area for the Polynesian is actually not located here. This is just, I think, concierge and bell services and guest services here inside the main building while it's under construction. And the construction outside is coming along super fast. There are a few signs outside that say no photographs. So instead, we're gonna take a closer look at this image. Outside, it currently looks like there's a lot of construction to the back part, that walkway between where the monorail will stop and where you'll walk in. Just looks like a kind of rebar and concrete several months away, but hopefully, given the progress they're making super fast, it'll be this year. Ohana is still closed right now as we would expect, but Kona Cafe and Tambu Lounge do open during the day. Here's the upstairs area of the Polynesian Village Resort. Usually we would take the monorail right from here and get to the Magic Kingdom or other Magic Kingdom resorts, but you can see all blocked off and there's actually very special uh, shades on those windows so we can't see the construction as it's happening. Another change I just noticed, take a look above me, the skylight is open again. You can see the roof of the Polynesian, if you look very carefully, has been completely replaced. It used to be wood up there, the kind of the, the triangles. Think of them like that. Triangles up above make for that great Polynesian feel. It used to be made of wood, now made of some kind of metal, probably steel up above, but the skylight is open, letting in all that natural light. I love it. Now, there are a few updates to transportation here at the Polynesian. All the theme parks, the buses arrive 45 minutes prior to park opening and until an hour after park closing. Then there's a gold route to Grand Floridian and Contemporary, 7 a.m. every day until 30 minutes prior to Magic Kingdom opening. Disney Springs, 10 a.m. until one hour after Disney Springs closing, and then you've got the watercraft service and the monorail, which you have to walk to. So, monorail right now, not really an option at the Polynesian. A lot of walking, boats, or buses. Here we are again with one of those walls that prevent us from going towards the Oasis pool area, but it doesn't mean that it's closed. It just means we have to go around. The sun is out, which is nice. Makes it feel more like it's in the 70s. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change into a bathing suit and try out that pool. I love the pools. We're here for a limited time. I want to try the pools. Now, since it's colder, we may end up being in the hot tub more than the pools, but that's what it's all about. We're gonna go enjoy it together. I got my GoPro, I've got my bathing suit, but that wind is still pretty chilly. This is gonna be the coldest pool experience we've had in a while. Now, do I think we're gonna see anyone else in the water? My guess, no. There is no one else in the water. No surprise there. 
Let's see how cold we're talking. Actually, to be honest, that feels heated. I, I, I gotta ask, hold on, I gotta ask. Sure enough, found out the pool is indeed heated. It actually feels great. And then over here, we've got the hot tub. Also no one in it. Wow, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change so we can experience it together. See how hot this is in comparison to the uh, heated pool. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's hot tub worthy. Let's do it. This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. This is crazy. So crazy, so crazy. Sweatshirt coming off. Now I gotta take off shirt. And... It's already cold. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, I think that's about as far as I'm gonna go. That's uh, <laughs> it's not that it's cold, the water's nice. It's just that, yeah, that's uh, it's like with the wind. That's where it gets really cold. I think we're gonna go with the original plan, hot tub. I feel like that's a smarter idea when it's 50 something degrees in Florida. Oh yes, that is a much smarter idea. It is 54 degrees and I'm getting in a hot tub in florida this is a much better way to do it that going in the pool right now is just <laughs> i would literally be the only person that's not a problem it's just the fact that it's i'm the only person for a reason it is it's cold it's cold and this is so nice it's like it's like that warmth you need on a cold day you know i was just thinking to myself how nice this is it is 55 whatever it is now outside a little windy right but inside of the hot tub it's super super nice reminds me of this trip i took with my family to uh vermont we were in killington vermont it was like a resort it's all about skiing and all that but at the end of the night or even during the day you could enjoy a hot tub went from inside to outside there was snow everywhere right so snow was all around you but the hot tub itself was nice and warm reminds me of this i know we don't have snow everywhere very different situation here i totally get that but just in case it's colder while you're here at Disney, don't don't let that you know take away from the experience. There are still a lot of amenities, things to enjoy, and I feel like this is one of those examples. Colder, a little too cold for the pool, in my opinion, but I can still enjoy things like this since we're staying here. Change, showered, and ready to show you this incredible room. This is room one zero two five in the Maria Building of Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. An amazing room. I love it. Entrance there, your full length mirror along with your conjoining door to the next uh, room over there. To your left as you walk in, you'll find the first of two, count them, two bathrooms. You've got your toilet, your shower and tub there, soaps, of course, everything you could need, along with a separate sink. You've also got these soaps here. This is not, not one of the resorts that has the soaps nailed to the wall inside the shower. And I gotta tell you, I appreciate that. Next to the sink, we've got some amazing artwork. I mean, this could go in galleries, but it's inside of your resort room. Love it. Stepping right outside, of this room, by the way, there is a sliding door. Got to appreciate that. You come to this closet. There's definitely a lot of space in this closet for hanging up everything that you might need. Your laundry hamper, your extra pillow, blankets, safe down there, and areas to you know pick your uh, luggage up off the floor, ironing board, and iron. Continuing down the hall here, I love that feeling. You've got your kitchenette. The kitchenette has everything you need to feel like home. You've got your sink, your coffee maker, your toaster, all your coffees and things you'll need with it. You've got your microwave and different utensils, cups, all those good things. Refrigerator right down here along with two, count them, two trash cans. Across from the kitchenette, we have the other bathroom. And this bathroom I like even more. You'll notice here there's a very large mirror with the lights inside the mirror. I appreciate that. You've got your soaps there. Take a look. We've got lots of space for things that you're going to need. Sink, towels, all those good things. Then this very large shower. This shower has rainfall and the wand. So you can actually move it around as you're enjoying the rainfall. Bar of soap in there. No soap nailed to the wall inside of this resort room. Stepping out of the second bathroom, we have the main deluxe studio. Thermostat, more amazing artwork. I think the artwork is just, I love it. I love the artwork so much. And you've got your lights here, phone, some uh, drawers air there, Bible, things you're gonna need, no question about it, your bed there, but that's one of three beds. The second one, as you may have guessed, is inside of this couch. You take the pillows off and it all swings out. We've seen it before. Now I've seen these cabinets before too. That's how I knew it was on wheels and it has storage space in there. It also closes 
just like that. <laughs> the third bed is across the way from the master bed here. We pull on these little tabs there and you can see Lilo and Stitch. Now I wanna show you a little closer view of Lilo and Stitch here because I believe this will be changing to Moana in the future. Just look at that relaxing on the beach, just chilling out, enjoying life, got to appreciate it. And you've got your light inside of this little bunk area, which you can turn off with that switch. But I just love, love that kind of background. Lilo and Stitch at the Polynesian, it's perfect. I love these statues right here inside the Polynesian Village Resort. Oh my gosh, just that tiki, just makes you feel so relaxed at the Polynesian chairs, table, but then outside, that's the amazing view. Just look at this incredible view. We are on the ground level here at the Polynesian Village Resort, but I gotta tell you, this is an unbelievable view. Not only are we looking at the bungalows and I can see Space Mountain and you can see the castle from certain angles, the uh, train station ticket center is right there. I was sitting on the chair for a bit, just relaxing. I kept hearing the horn of the ferry. It is just so, so nice and relaxing. In my opinion, one of the best parts of this room is this amazing view. After taking a quick look around, I've just been sitting back relaxing for a while. Got to admit, just enjoying every moment of it because views like this, moments like this, are precious and I've just been I've just been taking it all in but now it's time to do a little bit more exploring probably we'll loop around Magic Kingdom haven't decided fully I really haven't I have no plan I'm just gonna kind of walk around show you a few things have fun together and we'll end the night with a dull whip I can I'm gonna say I almost guarantee it it's, pro it's probably it's probably gonna happen now I'm gonna time how long it takes to get from room 1205 the Moria building Polynesian Village Resort to the Transportation and Ticket Center outside of security, not inside security. Ready, here we go. The reason I say outside of security is because the security line can vary depending on how many people are in front of you and all that. I feel like it's not really a fair test when you include going through security, so 17 seconds. It's been about 60 seconds. I'm just walking regular speed, main building over here. <laughs> it's the walkway to the transportation and ticket center. That's the building I'm staying in. That's the Muria building right there. So we're just walking. Minute and 15. I had forgotten about the temperature checks for a moment, but it's been two minutes and 17 seconds and we're just about at security. So that's what I'm gonna call it just for now, because again, with the temperature checks, it'll take another minute or two to get over there, but less than three minutes to get to the Transportation and Ticket Center from our room at the Polynesian Village Resort. Wow. Michael's business tip of the day. If you have a line <laughs> for coffee that's longer than some attractions, you know you've got a successful business. <laughs> Now that's a long line for Buzz Lightyear. It's not just here. This is it. Looping all the way around. My gosh, it's a busy day. I think this is one of the most crowded days that I've seen it since the holidays. It is so, so intense. So many people here in line. That Space Mountain line that goes all the way around and beyond. It goes to infinity and beyond. It does. Now with Columbia Harbor House still closed, I really wanted to try some of the food from there. We're here at Tomorrowland Terrace. Only open 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So that's good, so you have to order it uh, mobile order. And they do have one register, but they highly encourage mobile order at this point. The I ordered the kids salad. There's a kids harbor salad that looks really good. And got some sides with it, looks delicious. From Tomorrowland Terrace, remember, serving the food of Columbia Harbor House, we've got the kids harbor salad. It looks really good, and with it, you have a lot of options. We got the fries and the go-go squeeze apple juice. We also have a um, Coke Zero there. I mean, for you know, kids meal, this is a really good deal in my opinion. Like $7 and definitely gonna fill me up. Now the thing that I've never tried before here is the uh, kids harbor salad. What up, it's eat. First couple bites aren't too bad. Not my all time favorite, but the candied walnuts. Whoa, whoa, candied walnuts. Just a little bit more candied walnuts Disney. Just a tiny bit more on this. And it would be like a really good salad. Right now it's, it's an okay salad. Could use more of the candied walnuts. Overall though, Good. I love Columbia Harbor House, but having the food here, I feel like is a huge positive. Yay, food is here. We'll get the restaurant back one day, we will. Here at Magic Kingdom, a lot of change is happening really fast. Right by the castle in front, there's a big difference here. You may recall there used to be a stage here at the Magic Kingdom Castle, but now it's kind of been replaced with a barricade and uh, just kind of an open area here. There's tarp on the ground in preparation for something to come. What could, it could be, I have no idea, but something. My guess is this is the early preparation work for the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom. Something else is coming. That's my guess. Another question, why is the bush barrier all the way up here? It's about halfway through this uh, general viewing area in front of the castle. Something perhaps that's gonna be put in front of Cinderella Castle. From the concept art, I didn't see anything, but 
there's no doubt going to be something here. Now headed back to the Polynesian for a Dole Whip eventually, but uh, maybe some exploring, possibly even more pool time. I'm just, I'm ready for it. It's a great day for it. And believe it or not, I'm going to take the express monorail to the TTC because that's, I think, faster than taking the boat to the Polynesian, just because the room is so close to the transportation ticket sign. Just sat on that patio out there and enjoyed the views for probably like 30 minutes. I was just chilling out here. This is an amazing place. Really, really is. Going to go now uh, around Polynesian. Oh, I need my mask. Keep forgetting that, but at least I don't leave the room without it. That's important. Uh, and then probably, what are we going to do? We're going to maybe look for a scavenger hunt. That's a maybe. And then get a Dole Whip later. You know, as I'm walking around the resort here, I'm just realizing how much time and effort went into creating this lush, green, super nice feel to this uh, the walkways here. Just think about that. Like all these plants. Someone had to think through how it's going to look. Not too dense, but dense enough to make it feel like you're just relaxing and just maybe in a private paradise. I love it. And it's not just the same plant, right? They have a lot of different types of plants throughout the walkways. In addition, I don't think I've actually ever looked up and seen all the trees. Like, <laughs> it's just taking it real slow today. Just enjoying all the small details of this unbelievable place. This is a very interesting palm tree right here. It's, it's like a ground palm. But look right there in the middle, there are these spikes that look super sharp. I don't know what those are, but I'm not gonna touch it. But uh, cool ground palm here. I wonder what kind of tree this is. It's got these small fruits on it. it doesn't look like plums, but some small fruit, of course, not edible, I would imagine, and I'm not going to try, but <laughs> they're, uh, they're actually all around. There's even bamboo back there. I'm not sure what kind of plant this is called. Hey, is that a, it's like a Hawaiian, it starts with a T, I don't remember the name of it, but it's like that, the red one. I, I just, I like the colors. You can see the, the greens and some reds and all sorts of different colors throughout, and there's a lot of wildlife living in the brush. Speaking of wildlife, what are all these crows doing here? There's tons of them. Can you hear them? They're all just uh, hanging out there, having a party on some of the bungalows, on the uh, fences. Just a lot of them, my goodness. Wow. This is really interesting to see. We're, we're just all kind of observing this. Tons of crows here. And there's a cast member here who's kind of looking after them, making sure that they're not bugging any guests, which is good. But you can just, you can hear them, you can see them. They're just, they're flying all over. I mean, I don't, you know, you think of the, the movie The Birds, it's just it's a little scary. It's not that scary. I'm, I'm walking through, you can see, they're not bothering me, they're just flying all over, but I don't know why. They're all here, maybe this is like bird return season. Hmm. Lots to experience here at the Polynesian, tons of fun, video game dance party, maybe I'll come back to do that. Movie Under the Stars, we've got all sorts of good movies, and then I do want to mention the fitness center is located at the Grand Floridian. So we might check that out tomorrow? Maybe. We'll see. I always love seeing the models of the ships. This is the Disney Fantasy. You can see the name on the side there, and you can see it's uh, almost to scale. I would imagine it's not quite there. <laughs> almost to scale. Just imagine how much of it is under the water. All right, so you look underneath here, you can see the propeller. My goodness. Can't wait to get back on board one day. Check out some of the bamboo that they have here in the uh, lobby near the staircase. You can see Mickey's throughout. Do you see the Mickey's? You're a Disney fan when you can see the Mickey's in the bamboo on your way down the stairs at the Polynesian. The moment has arrived. Dole Whip time. Not sure I can call it a Polynesian Village Resort staycation without the Dole Whip. I feel like it's a mandatory part of it, but a delicious mandatory part of it. Bon appetit. I don't know why. It's, maybe it's me. Maybe it's... Maybe it's the recipe, but I feel like it tastes better at the Poly. That, that's me, I mean, you know. You can get it from Aloha Isle in Magic Kingdom, but there is something about this. So thinking back on the other Dole Whip or Dole Whip style items we've had around Disney, the um, Villainous, no, Poor Unfortunate Souls, that's the one. Um, that's still up there as my all time favorite or one of them. It's got like cherry Coke and blueberry, it's so good. But this is, this is still, I think, like up there with it. I'm not trying to say like one's better than the other, but they're amazing. There's some amazing Dole Whip variations you can find. Finished up that Dole Whip. Now taking a closer look at Boutique. Wonderful resort here. I love it. You can actually see right here these characters greeting you as you make your way in. I love it. This one's kind of scary with those teeth. Oh my gosh, so scary. 30% off of Tommy Bahama shirts, and I love this one. I'm super tempted. Is it additional 30% with my annual pass? I'm gonna find out. Sure enough, found out you get your annual pass discount as well. So this would bring this shirt from $150, Tommy Bahama, down to 74. 
Oh my goodness. That's tempting. Tempted beyond words by this one. This one right here. And the Tiny Bahamas, the largest, do fit me better. And that you can see the tiki birds on there. I don't know. I'm just... Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. 74. I'm, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna spend... I'm gonna spend the rest of the day thinking about it. As soon as I looked at that shirt, there were two other guests who were like, Oh my gosh, is it really 30 and then another 30%? Yeah, sure enough. So, yeah. This is gonna go quick. I'm starting to get to a point where I'm feeling that cold again. There are people in the pool enjoying it. Sun is, uh, is setting, so jacket time. Huge, huge fan of it, love it. But now what we're gonna do is we're going to pour the syrup on this very special banana bread pudding. Apparently it's more pineapple than banana and you can see Stitch riding on the uh, surfboard there. I love that, again, super quiet here. So keeping my voice down, here we go. It's been a long time, but I'm through. technically it is a secret menu item from the Tambu Lounge. It's different from what we're used to with the banana bread pudding. It's more of a pineapple. I was told that in advance. Knowing that in advance makes it taste even better. With the caramel there, oh my goodness, what a fantastic flavor. Compared to the standard banana bread pudding, yes, that one's a little better, but there's something to be said for this and it's exclusive and it's special for right now. You know, I love it, but I gotta tell you, it is freezing and I realize that I am wearing shorts. I got that, I got it, I know. I didn't bring long pants, that's okay. I. Uh, I'm wearing a jacket and a sweatshirt. I'm gonna head back to the room now. Just chill out there. Maybe just, maybe watch some TV. It'll be nice just to, just chill in the room. It's a great spot. And then we're gonna see the electrical water pageant tonight. Now we will come back out later tonight, but it is chilly, very chilly. Now I think we may be able to see at least part of the electrical water pageant from the room, but I looked on the app and it looks like it runs from 7.30 to nine. Time is now 7.00. 53. I didn't see it. I was watching for it and uh, maybe even call gift services. Oops, past our room to find out for sure when it will come by the Polynesian. Incredibly helpful front desk told me that it'll be right around 845. So almost eight o'clock right now. So we got some time to just chill out for a bit and then we're going to see it make its way around. It's now 830 walking outside. I think I hear it. Maybe not. Oh, no, maybe it's just Polynesian music. We're gonna try and make our way to the beach so we can see it. The music is clear as day right over there. It's moving to its next position. I think it's making its way here now. Very tough to tell, but I think it's making its way to us. I'm pretty sure it is. There's a boat kind of going around. It's, it's tough to see, but I think that's it out there. We'll give it a few minutes, see if it makes its way around. Now the big question is, the boat's coming. Should I get on the boat? to try and catch it on board. I've actually been wanting to do that for a long time. Maybe I'll talk to the captain and see if he can, if what he says. Just spoke to a very friendly Captain Dan. Apparently they will not let him go when, or go you know, on the, on the boat when it's playing. And it's about to start playing. He said two minutes, I can see it right there. So we're in great shape. We're gonna catch it right here from the dock at the Polynesian. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Always love it. A little bit of an abbreviated show tonight, so only one of the barges is out. Not sure why, but you know, having the abbreviated show. 
show is better than no show at all, so I'm smiling. And with that, our magical night has come to an end. Thanks so much for joining me on today's adventure. We're at the Polynesian, ready for some Polynesian dreams. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.